I'm gonna just go down the line or start with Mariana again? Uh... I want to start with Mariana only because she was like the easiest one to do. But going down the line probably makes more sense. <laughs> hey there, Bryce. Did you change your hair? Also, hang on. Okay, okay. They changed outfits. <laughs> Except for you. And, and you. And Bryce has on shoes. Bryce has on shoes. How you doing today, Bryce? <laughs> Hello. There's something I want to tell you about. Something else that's wrong with me. I think I've been getting a bit out of control in my hour. <laughs> that's a way to start a session. <laughs> I, I saw your mouth open like, uh, out of control. <laughs> when I first got the hour, I, I was shocked, obviously. It took me a while to work out that everyone was frozen and only I could move. Because I live on my own. What would you do, Doctor, if you had an hour where everyone was frozen? Go to a fairground? What did you do? I don't know. He seems very manic. Is that the right word? Like, he seems very nervous. I, mean, I don't think- I don't know if manic is the right word for that, but I know what you mean. Like... Okay, so... Yes, what would we do? I mean... What would you do in an hour where everyone... Maybe I should, should suggest things that he might have done to gain his trust. Wonder if he's stolen anything or spied on anyone. Well, that's probably not something you want to hear that your therapist would do. <laughs> yeah. See, in and out, it would depend on where I was at the hour that things froze. Because if I was at, like, a store and things froze for an hour, I, I probably would, like, steal something. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to be a saint about it. I mean, I, I would, like, at, at, like, a GameStop or something. Or, like, Myers, because everything's frozen for an hour. <laughs> it's like, you have an hour, you can figure out how to, like, open up a cash register. <laughs> see, I feel like my anxiety would get in the way of that. <laughs> well, see, mine too, but you're- it's an hour where everyone's completely frozen and, like... Then if I thought to do that, I feel like I would spend the entire hour just, like, sitting there debating it. <laughs> <laughs> see... I couldn't- I couldn't use that time to spy on anyone. Because they're frozen. Like, what, what would you be spying on? Yeah, see, I guess- I guess, like, I- I think in that moment they're talking about, like, frozen at their house, like, go through their stuff and, like, I don't know, try and read their diary or something, but- mm -hmm. I- we're- we're beyond an age where people, like, keep a diary where they keep their secrets or anything, like, it, it's- it's more for the sake of writing them down than it is for, like, having a secret. Mm -hmm. See, my first thought was like, like, get some work done or do some reading or like... Right. I... You're, you're a nicer person. <laughs> I, don't, I don't... So I have one of my biggest grudges is there's not enough hours in the day to read like I want to. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's kind of why I got so into audiobooks. Is like, I... <laughs> I'd love to just sit down and read, but I have so many other things that I have to do. So it's like, I'd rather do them and then listen to a book, than ignore them and read a book. Or, or do them and not experience the book. So, 
Sometimes I see a girl standing behind you. <laughs> I don't know who it is. I don't know what you're asking me either. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you do you see a girl? Do you <laughs> Possibly a relative of yours. Possibly a patient that died here. I'm not sure. She doesn't normally say anything. So you see things. You don't, it's not just the extra hour. I have no idea what you want me to say. So it's not just the extra hour. He, he sees things. He sees dead people. <laughs> How are you out of when controls? I first got the hour, I, I was shocked, obviously. It took me a while to work out that everyone was frozen and only I could move. Because I live on my own. What would you do, Doctor, if you had an hour where everyone was frozen? Go to a fairground? What is a fairground? Not sure. So maybe like I would work in my hour or something. I don't know. Nope. I've got nothing. See, I said that we would read in the hour and he told us about a girl. <laughs> um. You live alone? I live on my own. Occasionally I visit my father. He's in sheltered housing. Dementia. Sheltered housing with Ellen? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we have to say something. So bad. that might be like why why she saw him. His dad is there. Like right. where she works. Right. Okay, fairground is just an outdoor area where a fair is held, so <laughs> That sounds good to go to a place where you're frozen. Going to a fair sounds fun. Ha! That was just an example, Doctor. I'm sure you can come up with more exciting things to do than that. <laughs> I mean, that sounds pretty exciting. <sighs> Let me be a terrible person. Yes. I would steal, too. And I have stolen. I ran out of milk, so I thought I'd go to the local all-night shop and get some more. I was absolutely intending to pay, but when I got there, everyone was frozen. I thought about leaving money on the counter, but that seemed weird. The cashier would wake and suddenly this money would have appeared from nowhere. But I've stolen bigger things. What bigger things? From stealing milk, I moved on to petrol. From petrol, well, all those supermarkets have all kinds of electricals, so I've stolen quite a lot of that. I'm not proud. I think I've been doing it because I can. To prove to myself either way, my extra hour is actually real. Okay, out of control still has two. Two stars. <laughs> well, that makes me feel a little better. There's a young mother, divorced, who lives opposite me. Jessica. She's friendly and says hello to me, smiles. I've always wondered what she looks like naked so one hour i broke into her house she was standing in her bedroom i took it as a sign i took off her clothes and that's that's horrible grace i took photos of jessica when she was naked 
I when should I report you. Her. When she was naked and frozen. I didn't want to have to do it again, to strip her again. So I took pictures to remind myself what she looked like. That's wrong, isn't it, Doctor? That's horrible. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Not something I know about. I think you know a lot about horrible. <laughs> I don't really know. Sorry, Doctor, I dozed off there. No, sorry. <laughs> So we've got a few topics that we can ask him about. We can figure out what else to do with what did you do to Jessica, or we could move on to Valentine's Day. Yeah. Or we could ask him about Elin or art, because she said he he's quite the art critic. Hmm? I took photos of Jessica when she was naked, when I'd stripped her, when she was naked and frozen. I didn't want to have to do it again, to strip her again. So I took pictures to remind myself what she looked like. That's wrong, isn't it, Doctor? Maybe where are the photos? Or pictures? I don't have anything. I can't delete them. I don't know why. I haven't shown them to anyone else. Do you want to see them, Doctor? You implying you'd show them to. I don't really... I don't know. Sorry, Doctor. You're a... Maybe it seems to want, like, straight, like, yes or no in the responses, so maybe, like, yes it is wrong, or no it is not wrong. Like, for the what did you do? Right. No, no, of course you don't. It's just me. I'm the sick one. Yes, you are. At least you acknowledge that. <laughs> Uh, what you did was wrong. I don't have any. Yeah, maybe, like, yes, it was wrong. <laughs> yes, it was wrong to take pictures of, of, of Jessica. Jessica. I know. It's that bloody Dr. Decker. He made me this way. It's all his fault. He made you this way. Okay, so I don't think we have to... I was getting... From the first session, I was getting a little bit scared of long answers. Or long questions. Because mm -hmm. they weren't... They were confusing them. But it seems to be as long as the long answers are specific. Maybe. <laughs> There's one too many questions here. <laughs> <sighs> Maybe he made you this way? Like I said, I originally presented with depression, and everything was going well for a while. Then Dr. Decker changed. I'm, I'm gonna say a thing. Gonna, gonna cut this bit out. When we're done with Bryce, you wanna call it a session because it's kinda hot and I kinda want food. <laughs> Sure. It's very, like, humid hot. It is. It's a bit of a shorter session, but... It... Honestly, like, by the time we're done with him, it'll be about as long as the last one was. 
Because the last one was about two and a half hours. So, uh... Okay. That's too much to think about at once. There's one too many questions. So they just teach changed, changed, or changed how? <laughs> he was easily distracted during the sessions. Like, he wasn't listening. I'm pretty sure he wasn't listening half it's the like time. like that one man. I don't You're think he wanted to listening. know about his patients <laughs> anymore. But when he did give you advice... <laughs> He told me to use my imagination to make something up, to think something crazy, and it would become real. He told me to think of a way to get more time. So I did. But he pushed me. He made me think it. And that's also weird advice. I have no idea what you want. I spent most of Valentine's Day at the art gallery, well, the evening part, anyway. They had a display with the theme, Love Conquers All. I didn't get most of the paintings, but they were well done. I think his Elin seems to think you're an art critic. <laughs> uh, hold on. No. Not something I know about. Okay. Did you meet anyone? Or did you talk to anyone? Or anything like that? I don't know. I don't know. Not something. Do you like art? I don't have anything to say to that. Okay. So, I don't know. Hmm. Is there anything else in the things with stars? Out of Control has one. We've actually done really good with Bryce so far. So Out of Control has one, Changed How has one. And what advice did he give you? Did Decker push you? I dug the grave for Dr. Decker. I helped carry his coffin to the burial site. Do you know what? It didn't weigh enough to have a body in it. Why do you think that is? That's, that's really weird. It didn't weigh enough, <laughs> like... No, the coffin wasn't empty. There was something in it. A decoy, I'd imagine. So do you think Decker faked his death? Or... <laughs> I'm guessing he was buried somewhere else. Or cremated. Somebody somewhere didn't want his body going in the ground. Do you want to be cremated or buried, Doctor? I, I want to be a tree. I think we've established this in this Let's Play already. I have no idea what you want me to say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think in the process of being turned into a tree, you are cremated, though. Yeah, I think so. That's a good choice, Doctor. Less work for me. Cool. <laughs>